Hello, this is Judd with Presenter Media. In this Getting Started video, we will take a look at animations on Presenter Media and how to use them. To get started, go up to the top navigation menu and go to the left side where it says PowerPoint Animations. Although this says PowerPoint Animations, these can be used in social media, blog posts, or on websites. But for this, we're going to take a look at using them inside PowerPoint. So you can go to one of the subcategories to find an animation you're looking for, or just click on the PowerPoint animations um, top menu. So I click on PowerPoint animations and it opens up our animation library. And you can search for animations by clicking the pages and kind of just going through them that way. Or you can go up to the top search and click on filters and choose animations from the drop down and then put in your search keyword. For this video, I'm just going to go through and select a few animations to show you how they work. So to get started, I'm going to choose just this top animation here of this guy doing a floss dance. If you're not familiar with the floss dance, it could be completely outdated by the time you watch this video, or it could still be all the rage. Um, so I have the animation loaded, and if I scroll down just a little bit, you'll find where it says Quick Downloads. With these quick downloads, you can easily download the animation in seconds. So I usually, I usually download the largest size, and you can choose this one right here and right now it's set to have a clear background or you can choose to have a white background and I'm going to choose white and I'll download that right now and you can see that it downloads pretty much instantaneously so I'll save that to my computer I will go into PowerPoint and in PowerPoint to load one of these animations, PowerPoint sees them as uh, pictures. So if I go to insert and go to pictures and then go this device and I have to find my, find my downloads folder, there it is, man doing floss dance. So if I load that in, insert, now it's loaded inside PowerPoint. And if I play the slideshow, you can see that it plays nicely and it's a great way to call attention to your messages. Uh, let's go back to Presenter Media and we're, gonna, we're going to uh, use the same animation. And with all animations, you'll get this preview window, which also has variations that you can choose to modify to get a different look for the animation. And each animation will have its own variations to choose from. So I'm just going to go through the variations and show you what they do. Once you click on it and it loads up, you can see that this animation, the sweatshirt on the guy and the shoes are set to change colors. So say I want a, a blue sweatshirt and shoes, I can choose that and download it. <clears throat> I can also go into advanced and play with the settings a little bit deeper. So in here, I can go and move these sliders around and you can see that the shirt updates to what color I am selecting the hue to be. I can also play with the saturation saturation to get a brighter look to the, the color of the sweatshirt. And I can also play with brightness so I can get a darker color. So just a, a few settings you can play around with. I can also um, play with the shadow if I want to turn the shadow off or, or make a, a deeper shadow. And that looks pretty good. I can also, one thing to, I want, want to show you is you can change the color of the background of the animation by choosing color right here in the bottom settings. And now that you get this uh, color pop-up, swatch thingy you can 
You can drag around in that and get a color you're looking for. I'll use like this light green, this looks good. And I'm gonna download this and load it in PowerPoint, but I wanna match this background color inside PowerPoint. So what you wanna do is go to this hex A right here and click on it, and it'll give you this number. And you can mouse click and drag over it to select it, and then right click on that selection and choose copy. That looks good. Okay, and check all these other settings. I want to do download the largest animation and have it repeat for infinity, so forever. And that looks all good. I got my color, and now I click save and download. Um, you can also reset your settings back to the original if you want to, but I'm going to click save and download, and it will process that quickly, and it's ready to download with my new colors and background. And I'm going to download and save in My Media. So if you haven't used My Media, My Media is just where all your customized designs go to live, where you can redo them or you can download them later or you can delete them or save them forever. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute, just really quickly, but I'm gonna download and save. And now it's downloaded to my computer. I'm gonna go back to PowerPoint and I'm gonna select this animation I loaded in earlier. And just like an image, I can right click on it and say change picture from this device. And I will load the new animation into PowerPoint. And now I have it in there exactly where the other animation was. But you can see the backgrounds don't match. So to easily change that, just right click on the background go to format background, go over to color right here underneath format background, click the um, color selector and go to more colors. And over here, go to custom. And if you go down, you'll see uh, words, that, words that say hex. So that's the same number that we just copied. So if I drag, click the mount, click the mouse and drag over the selection here or over these letters to select it all. I can right click on it and select paste. And then if I just click okay, you can see that it, my animation now matches my slide background color. So play that, looks good. Let's go back to presenter media. So inside the PowerPoint, animations library you can do a lot of color changing and get animations to look kind of your own custom customized settings and customized look you can also go to this drop down where it says powerpoint animations the drop down and go to custom text so custom text animations are pretty powerful you can rebrand the animations with your own text, images, your logo, and we'll take a look at that right now. So I'm gonna use this, this uh, tablet with headphones. I'm gonna click on that to open it up. And once you get in, you can see a little bit bigger preview and click customize this item right here. And this will take you to the customization app online. And if I click over here, if I click sample, I can see that animation again. Um, and I can start editing over here. This is your, your customization um, canvas that you can uh, move stuff around, move, um, let's see. You can move the text around, you can play with the, the um, image on there. Let's say I want to change that. If I right click on it and say change element, I, yep, I'm inside my clip art right here. If I want to put, let's say, uh, this, this, this thing right here, that looks good. Cool. Something like that. Um, change the hue color to match. Uh, let's do that right there. 
Okay, that looks good. Um, you can also put your own text in here. You can delete text out. Uh, protect. I don't know, something like that. And I can also change the color of the headphones if I want by clicking on that swatch and changing it to that. So this won't update in real time. That technology is being worked on at the moment, but it's not quite ready yet. So once I have the, the canvas the way I want it, so you can tell that this rectangle is the face of the tablet, and I have the headphone color. So I can go down to these options underneath again. It has uh, the large still selected, and it loops for infinity. And let's see, I can change the background color if I would choose. That looks good. If you choose the background color, make sure that you copy this number just like before. So right click on it, copy, and build animation. Okay, now if you go look up here, the gear is spinning. That means that animation is being processed and will be ready in my media when it, when it completes. So you don't have to wait around for it to finish. You can go back and customize another animation if you choose. Um, I'm gonna search for Actually, Halloween's coming up soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this animation here um, to go along with a Halloween theme. And I'm gonna well before we do that, I see that that animation is now complete. So I can download that by clicking on these gears, and you can see that top one is done. And if I click on download, it saves to my computer and I'm just going to duplicate this slide and I'm going to load the animation into PowerPoint using insert pictures from device and tablet jamming out there we go and I'm going to click on the background again and go format background color and over here, click on color, color swatch picker, and go to more colors here. And down where it says hex, you have two different tabs here. So it's underneath custom where it says hex. I'm gonna drag my mouse over that and right click and go paste to paste in what I copied from, from the customizer on Presenter Media and click OK. And now my animation um, color matches perfectly to the background. I'm going to go back over to Presenter Media and I'm going to customize this Halloween one here. So that's about all I'm going to go over. I'll go over the the My Media area in just a second here. Let's customize this one quickly. I'm going to say I'd, Say this pumpkin is too scary for me. So I'm going to right click on it, say change element, and go to clip art here and type in Halloween. And I like this, this pumpkin better. It's more, it's more happy, more jolly. And I can change the text by clicking in here or, or in here. So if I just type in trick or treat okay trick-or-treat uh, goodies trick-or-treat goodies cool and then I can also change the the color of the text as well here up here we'll make it a little bit brighter and we'll change that color of this text to like a, a black that looks good Okay, once I'm done, I can go down to the bottom, make sure all my settings are, are correct. I'm gonna go up to sample here just to 
see what the animation looks like. You can see that this animation is supposed to stop, not repeat itself. So uh, the repeats are set to infinity. So I'm just going to click that to one and it will stop just after it plays once. Um, yep, I'm going to change the background to a kind of a gray, gloomy color. That looks good. And uh, once again, I'm going to copy this hex number and I'm going to build the animation. OK, that's building now. I'm going to go into My Media and Uploads and just quickly talk about that. You can see inside My Media and Uploads, this is where all my custom projects have gone. You can see the tablet there, the flosser guy doing the floss dance. And you can see the one that I just sent through is still processing. So you can see that by the gear that's rotating up, up here. So we'll just wait for a second while that processes, and then we'll, we will download that and load it into PowerPoint. So in My Custom Media, yep, you have the option to download here. Click to save, which will allow you to save your, your um, animations forever. Um, with the free account, if you signed up for the free account, this option will be, not be available and redo will not be available. So um, if you're signed up with a membership, a paid membership, you'll be able to redo, redo and click to save. You can also delete items from in here as well. And just to note, any customized items will be deleted after 90 days if you don't click to save them. Okay, looks like up here my animation has finished and I'll click download and I'll go into presenter media again and I'm just going to duplicate this slide and instead of loading insert picture I'm just going to right click on the animation and say change picture and click the oops I must have not download I'm going to go back to presenter media because I didn't click save. Click save. Now I should be able to replace that animation. Yep, that's replaced, looks good. And did I right click? I might not have saved the, the number. We'll see. Oh, I did, I saved the number. And let's make this, looks good, okay and play that and I've got a slide ready for Halloween theme that I can um, add to any presentation to call out a message or yeah just add a engaging animation to to attract your your viewers and and hold their focus and that's all I'm gonna go over for this um, video so I just thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye bye